Total extinction of Earth through uh, uncontrollable warming. Where the fuck is the government? This is a movement of international solidarity. The people that are facing the worst impacts of, cl of climate change are the people that are contributing to climate change the least. Most people who are fleeing the impact of climate change are fleeing from countries where historically Britain and Western countries have taken part in colonial rule and have stripped the resources of those countries leading to poverty. We are pushing for a Green New Deal, that is what we want to see implemented in this country. The aim of a worker-led, just transition. We want climate justice and with that comes social equity. And with that comes the rights of workers broadcasted everywhere. As a rail union, the RMT has always stood for an organised transport system. If we got all them lorries off the road, we got them on the railway. The climate will be a much better condition. The air we breathe will be much better. When the Vesta company closed, the only company in this country making wind turbines, it was the RMT that encouraged those workers to occupy that factory and defend the environment. We're the first trade union to declare climate emergency, to agree that all branches should be encouraged to request their employers declare climate emergency and the urgent measures are discussed and implemented to reduce carbon emissions. What do we want? Climate justice! What do we want? Now! What do we want? Climate justice! What do we want? Now! Our solidarity as young people goes absolutely out to all the workers out there who are facing their extremely repressive anti-trade union laws and we stand absolutely against the repression of trade unions as such necessary institutions in our society. And on the 20th of September, um, thousands of people all over the world will be walking out of work in order to strike uh, for climate action and we'd uh, ask you humbly to, to, uh, to join us then. We need an international working class movement against climate change, a global general strike for the future of every being living on the planet. These school kids are really showing us how it's done. Now it's time for the trade union movement to get involved and do the same. We can't keep playing it safe anymore, it's time to rock the boat. We can't sit by and let a handful of people destroy our planet in the name of profit because it's not their future in jeopardy, it's ours. Our union, the National Education Union, which is the largest education union in Europe, we passed a resolution at our conference in April that there is a climate emergency and we will support the students. We need to turn those words into action. We would love to see teachers out on strike following our students. Those trade unions that are engaged in disputes with their employers should bring forward action for the 20th of September and tie in demands around a just transition away from the carbon dependent mode of capitalism that we see today ravaging so much of the planet. It doesn't matter who you are, what ethnicity you are, how old you are, just come and support this because everyone has a minor that they want to have a yeah. future. If they're doing it, so well, we're teenagers, we're like young adults. If you're scared to do it, then you should look at your life again because this it's massive. If it can affect your life, it can affect your children's life. When your kids and your future generations and your grandchildren and their grandchildren, when they ask you what
what you did to stop this global crisis and you tell them, oh, well, my boss said he didn't want me going, so, you know, I did nothing. They're not going to be very happy about that. If yeah. you say, I strike, I fought for you, I fought for my future generations, that is going to be something that you can do and carry with you for the rest of your life, that you did something. Yeah. You made a difference. Yeah. Oh, oh. Climate change is no smoke.